Go, 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 go! Here we go. About to hit Argentinian land. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Gracias, ciao! Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 233 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the beautiful little town of Colonia del Sacramento in Uruguay. Yeah, we stayed at a really cool room here in town last night. We found the place on Bunker Biker, which is a website where motorcycle travelers or motorcyclists can actually host other motorcyclists, kind of like the couch surfing for motorcycle riders. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much Aldana and Arnaldo to make it possible for us to stay at your awesome place. We really enjoyed it. It was a super peaceful night. Yeah, and we got a chance yesterday afternoon to have a walk around Colonia del Sacramento as well as our moto tour so um, we could really explore all the beautiful old historic streets so it was really lovely but today we have a different mission Argentina we're coming yes let me show you guys where we're heading today so we are down here in the UNESCO site Colonia del Sacramento and today we are going to be making the crossing over to this grey land here, also known as Argentina. Woo! Yes, today we are heading to Buenos Aires. Woo! This will be country number nine. nine. Country Ooh. number nine. So we have our ferry booked for quarter past ten. <laughs> so right now we're heading to the ferry port where we've basically got to figure out what we have to do with Bumblebee and what we have to do with ourselves to get us over from Uruguay to Argentina. Yes! Ferry port! <laughs> there we go. I like taking a ferry. Buenos dias! Buenos dias! Uh, 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 balsa 10 Embarco de las 10. Embarco, Embarco Mercedes. Sí, gracias. This looks like an airport, doesn't it? It does, it does. A mini little airport. Oh, I like taking ferries as well. It's just, yes. a, it's just fun to do something like that, isn't it? Yes. Especially going from this beautiful town to the capital of Argentina. Wow. That's pretty crazy stuff. It's going to be really cool. Yeah. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buque bus, uh, 10. Sí. Uh, the auto here. Estación. Okay. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> hey, nearly fluent, hey? <laughs> I'm just t completely guessing. <laughs> completely guessing what he means. Yeah. So I but think yeah, parking here. Basically, and then... just behind this car, okay. and then because there's the bookie bus. No way. That's Looks tiny. Yeah, but that's the Colonia Express. No way. Yeah. What? I don't know if the Colonia Express actually does um, vehicles, but that's yeah, that's the Colonia Express, mm -hmm. and uh, this is the one we're taking, Booker Bus. Okay. Cool. So, so now we have to go back in over there. Okay. And do our passports and everything. The bike, nothing with the bike. Nothing with the bike. No, there is one thing. We give them a, we give them our exit permit like that. The temporary import permit. Yeah. We give them that. Passport stamped. Okay. So let's Perfect. go do that. So we're all checked in and we've been through the passport control and we've been stamped out of Uruguay. So now we're actually stuck in this waiting area. We can't return back to Bumblebee. Bumblebee is over there alone with all the other cars. We didn't realize that we wouldn't be able to actually return to Bumblebee, so we didn't really bring like anything with us, like <laughs> drinks or food or anything. So I think we have about an hour to wait and then we'll be able to go get Bumblebee and board the ferry. All right, so unfortunately Lavi had to board the bus by foot. They would only allow just me to ride the bike on. 
so she can't be here to witness this. But I think it's time to hit the road and then hit the ocean. It's incredibly hot at the moment. The bike is saying 36 degrees. There we go. Gracias. <laughs> Leaving Uruguayan soil. Goodbye, Uruguay. Oh, look at this. Oh. So, do I have a special place to go for the special bumblebee? Ah, yes, the fellow's saying to come round. Yes. Of course we have a special area behind the other motorbike. Okay, let's try and go round in a circle without dropping Bumblebee. Okay? Está bien. Uh, no uh, Span Español. Uh, ah, on the center. Um, could you, uh, together? <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Hey, gracias. <laughs> because me, uh, no, no. Mucho peso, mucha carga. Oh, mucho, mucho grande. Oh. Okay, it's time to put the cameras away. Strap this baby down. Gracias. like boarding a plane actually and it looks like it as well let's see if I can find Ollie again <laughs> we made it together again yes. we are probably apart for five minutes Always crazy rush, eh? Oh my lord. Alright, let's rock and roll. Go, 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 go! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Here we go. About to hit Argentinian land. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Argentina! Welcome, Argentina! <laughs> Oh, hey, we still got to do the Bumblebee import, we still got to do the passports. We're not welcomed in just yet. Look, there's the freedom, the freedom of Argentina. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> wow, look at the buildings. Wow, a mega city. Yeah, we've come in right, right at the center of the city. Okay, we got to figure out what to do. Mm-hmm. Migraciones. Uh, buenos días. Okay. Yeah. Gracias. You have to wait here. Buenos días. Buenos días. Andar a la oficina con la documentación. Estacionado aquí. Okay. Gracias. Looks like we have to park the bike over here. Gracias. Yes! Argentina! Yes! Gracias! <laughs> gracias! Woo! Yes, ready for you. Four, five, six. Gracias! Ciao! Woo! There we go. <laughs> 
Wow, out on the streets of Buenos Aires. Epic stuff. We made it, we're already here. It's not even midday. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Nice. How cool, eh? So the process there was pretty easy. Once we got off the boat, we had our passport stamped. Once we had our passport stamped, I had to go into a little office and get the temporary import permit. So he asked me for the motorcycle documents. I gave him those, passport. He wrote something out, stamped it, I signed, done. They didn't ask us anything to do with insurance. It was all very easy. Yes. So, but anyway, this is where we're heading now to an insurance company to get our cutie bike insured. They've got a Mercosur, like a lot of Latin American countries, all covered under like one policy. I read on iOverlander that we can get a policy at this company that we're about to drive to now. So let's get Bumblebee safe. Yes. 30 degrees, baby. 30 degrees at the moment, yeah. <laughs> Every time we come into a city, hey? Oh my God. Whilst we navigate our way through the hot, sweaty heart of the city, we thought we would share some interesting facts about our ninth country on the road so far. The eighth largest country in the world and the largest Spanish-speaking country, Argentina has a population of 47 million people. Its name comes from the Italian, meaning made of silver, referring to the legend of a mythical silver mountain in the country by early European explorers. And 60% of the population has full or partial Italian ancestry. It is the home of the tango and home to the highest and lowest points in the southern hemisphere. Aconcagua at 6,961 meters above sea level and Laguna del Carbon at 108 meters below sea level. It is also one of the most biodiverse countries in the world for its plants, animals and ecological regions with temperate, subtropical and subpolar climates within the country. And we can't wait to explore them all, especially the subpolar. Man, it's hot. Whoa, look at these. These are some grand buildings. Wow. I think, yeah, I think this is like really the center of the center. <laughs> yeah, wow. Look at that, hey? what a nice, sweaty city tour. <laughs> wow, what a big city. Oh, this is like <laughs> the biggest Central Avenue ever. Buenos Aires has a population of 3 million people, but the metro population is 15 million. 15 million? Yes. Oh my lord. So it's absolutely huge. Some nice lovely facts there. Yeah. Oh look, they've got a monument, like the Washington Monument. Look at that. Wow. Let's just switch over there. Ah, there's a bike up there as well. I think we'll go up there. Okay, awesome. There we go. All right, parked up in the center of the city. So I've got to go to the insurance company. It's on the opposite side of this massive avenue. So I'll go see if I can get over there. So it looks like the insurance company that I saw on iOverlander is closed down. It was just like a for sale sign on the front. So we'll have to find another one, I guess. Okay, on to place number two then, I guess. So we found another one on iOverlander. It's a bit further down this street. But I don't know, these entries on iOverlander, they're sometimes a few years old. And yeah, you never know if things have changed in the meantime. Luckily, this other company is just a couple of minutes down the road, one mile. Except this time I might actually take the advice and cross the junction okay just to make it easier okay because yeah every meter you have to walk here <sighs> in, the, in the full gear yeah that's tough it's suffering <laughs> yeah just park park down here yeah all Perfect. right yeah, that's cool good. I think it's this place you can, Seguras 
Riva Davida. I mean, shutters are down. It's exactly the location listed. Yeah, I'll ask the shop next door. Okay, that's the insurance company number two of two. Closed, look at that. Totally closed. And it is a Monday, by the way. So we've got one last insurance company in this area. So hopefully this one will uh, be open or exist or whatever. 10 minute ride across the city center. So fingers crossed. Okay, yes, I think I can go. Let's have a look. Shall I go in here? Okay. Okay. Here. I'll just go next to this dude. No, I'll go next to the bin. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of blocking the bin. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. Now, our third insurance company should be just up here, so we'll give it a go. Try number three. You honestly wouldn't believe it, but... Alliance Insurance is closed as well. Doesn't make any sense. It's like a Monday. It should be something open, I don't really get it. But, okay. So we can just go straight like that and then round the corner. Whew. Tell you what, parking is not too easy here in the city. So. For now, we've given up on insurance because the three main companies, two of them are closed and one of them doesn't exist. <laughs> Can you believe it? We're going to move on to mission number two for our arrival here in Buenos Aires, and that is to change our rear tire. So we've searched a couple of tire brand places. We don't really know which one is the best for the bike, but we've chosen to go to Continental. So Continental have a place, Continental Argentina. That's actually over towards where we're gonna be staying tonight in the north side of the city. So it's about half an hour's ride. So let's see if we can be a little bit more successful on this. Oh, this looks like the sort of plaster independence or something like that. Yeah, true. And the big Argentinian flag. Yeah and some like royal guards walking wow, down. Wow, cool. Nice. Yeah, this is definitely like the central place of Argentina. Wow. That's awesome. Some big palms here as well. And some grand buildings, wow. Awesome. On the highway on the big highway with all the trucks pretty hectic <laughs> and then you've got this guy in front carrying like one two three four five stacks of boxes on his little scooter that's really funny what a madman yeah this city just goes on forever it's just huge it's absolutely massive Okay, Continental Tires should be coming up just in a minute. I think it's this place, Calzeta Pneumaticos. Just going to park here and see. Okay. I mean, they've got tires. Let's find <laughs> out. Yeah. Ah, todo bien. Uh, uh, conti continental. Cubierta continental. Continental, sí. No, uh, the uh, this one, eso. Um. Ah. Okay. Rock and roll. Yeah. Pretty sure I can go on these things. I think can so I? Too. Yeah, shut. Ciao, ciao. 
Okay, so semi-successful, but also highly unsuccessful. <laughs> Basically, they had a tire for our bike, Continental tire, but uh, it was a just a road tire basically not an off-roading tire not a 50 50 at the moment we have the dunlop trail max mission tire which is 50 50. the only one they could offer was a pretty slick road tire and it's almost better to just stick with what we've got than change it to that to be honest yeah i mean <laughs> we're so happy with our tires you kind of just want to keep it going and going and going even though we've done more than 10,000 miles now on it it's yeah. insane but I don't know so there was a guy there called Damien and he was really really nice and he spoke English which was awesome and he actually called a whole bunch of other places for us he called Michelin he called Bridgestone he tried to call Suzuki but they didn't answer wah, and wah, wah. <laughs> he, he tried to call Dunlop as well yeah they put him in touch with a motorcycle garage and that motorcycle garage we're gonna ride there now and then they're gonna have a look and see what they can do for us see if they can offer us something a little bit more off-road capable okay all good all right two and a half hours later we're leaving Motolandia empty-handed so we went through a couple of different options and the whole process just took such a long time checking with the supplier trying to find this and that so it turns out that the imported tires like the ones we wanted like bridgestone ak-41 dunlop trail max mission or continental tkc70 uh, these are very very expensive here in Argentina he checked with the supplier and we're talking about 500 US dollars for just the rear tire so that's really really not good news he offered us one local Brazilian tire uh, I can't remember the brand but um, I checked online and it was only rated to do about three to four thousand miles and it was still 250 US dollars yeah so i really don't know what's that about yeah that's way more expensive than i was expecting yeah. uh, i thought that the trail max missions were for a pair something like 100 150 pounds so we left the place and said we'll have a think about it but we're really not sure what the next step is for us because uh I, we can't really spend 500 dollars on one tire and we still have tread on our trail max mission rear tire it still looks reasonable so anyway we decided that it's already half past four we've been hot and sweaty in our gear for such a long time uh, that we're just going to make our way to the accommodation now and uh, call it a day and have a think about what the next step is Ay, 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 ay. I'm dead. What a hot day, hey? The heat just takes all the energy out of me. Oh my god, it's crazy. You know, I expected it to be quite tough to sort out the insurance or to get stuff, you know, with the language barrier and mm -hmm. riding around the city, this crazy, crazy massive city. Mm -hmm. But actually, I think it was even more difficult than mm -hmm. I expected it to be to get anywhere. And actually, we got nowhere. <laughs> We spent the whole day riding around and uh, we didn't get insurance mm -hmm. and we, we didn't did. get a tire. Yes, how crazy is that? I mean, who would have known that it's so difficult to get a tire in a big city? Or expensive. Or 500 or. US dollar would you pay for one tire? Well, we're going to check the price online and see how much it is, but we might need to mm -hmm. wait a little bit and yeah. uh, kind of you know test our trail max mission tires to the max <laughs> yes because actually it still has a lot of thread so we'll post a picture of mm -hmm. the tread yes and uh, and then you guys can see how we're at at the moment so let us know in the comments how you think our tire is doing after 10,000 miles <laughs>
But it was really, really nice to at least take the ferry over and get to a new country. Awesome. And yeah, make some progress on the journey. Mm -hmm. We're here in Argentina. It's amazing. I'm so glad to be here. It's awesome. It's super cool. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Bye.